this month, it's all about national events. One of the biggest events this month was our election. In honor of that, I have a fun flag-based activity for us to do. A craft stick puzzle. I'm suggesting 10 craft sticks for this and some markers. I'm going to be making a flag, but feel free to make whatever you want. So let's get started. First, you're going to lay out your sticks in a row, so that way they form a square or a rectangle. Next, you want to use your markers to create a picture or a design. Be careful to keep your sticks together. You can also use tape on the back, so that way the sticks keep together, so you can keep them in place. I'm going to go ahead and make my design. Once you've made your design, you can mix up your sticks, and then you can put them back together again. Or you can give them to your friend and see if they can figure out your puzzle. Another way you can do this is by using a picture. I'm going to use a picture of me for this one. I made a silly face and printed it out. Place your sticks in a rectangle again, and then glue your picture to the sticks, like this. Once, you've, once the glue dries, you can cut up the pictures using the, the sticks as your guide. Mix up the pieces and have fun putting it together again. This week's book recommendation is One Vote, Two Votes, I Vote, You Vote, and it was written by Bonnie Worth in the style of Dr. Seuss. This book discusses many different parts about how our government works, including our elections. If you would like to learn more about elections and our government, this is a book that I would, I would recommend starting with. I would vote for it. This week's Let's Build theme is voting, so make your voice heard and create your own voting booth. Don't just create a booth. Also create candidates to vote for. What if you use some fallen acorns to create your booth? How would that work? What about building it out of dominoes? I look forward to seeing your booths and to see who your candidates are. Share your puzzles and your voting booths on social media and use the hashtag MyFCPL when you do so that way we can see it too. Or email your photos and videos to sparkzone at myfcpl.org and your submissions may be used in an upcoming video. I'll be back next week with another video. Until then, keep on making and exploring and I'll see you next time.